Let's define the function fx equal to x minus a times x minus c plus 2 times x minus b times x minus d. Now let's determine the value of the function along the number line. We are given that a is less than b is less than c is less than d. At x is equal to a, this is equal to 2 times a minus b times a minus d. Now a is less than b and a is less than d. Therefore, the value of f of a is positive. At x is equal to b, the value of the function is equal to b minus a times b minus c. b minus a is positive and b minus c is negative. Therefore, the value of the function at x is equal to b is negative. At x is equal to c, the value of the function is equal to 2 times c minus b times c minus d. c minus b is positive and c minus d is negative. Therefore, the value of f of c is negative. And finally, at x is equal to d, the value of the function is equal to d minus a times d minus c. Both d minus a and d minus c are positive. And therefore, the value of the function at x is equal to d is positive. Clearly, the function changes signs between x is equal to a and x is equal to b. And therefore, the equation fx is equal to 0 will have a root between these two points. Next, note that the value of the function is negative at both x is equal to b and x is equal to c. Therefore, there are no roots of fx is equal to 0 between these two points. And finally, note that the function again changes sign between x is equal to c and x is equal to d. And therefore, the equation fx is equal to 0 has a root between these two points. Therefore, to summarize, the equation fx is equal to 0 has one root between x is equal to a and x is equal to b and another root between x is equal to c and x is equal to d. In other words, fx is equal to 0 has two distinct real roots. which is the required answer.